Hello friends, happy Friday. It's Friday Sews. A little bit of life, a little bit of sewing, and I just hope you're having a wonderful Friday and looking forward to a great weekend. So let's get right to it. This is my new dress that I made this week, and it is the same dress that I made last week, different fabric. I also would like to show it to you. It is New Look 6669, and it's just a cute little sundress. I would call it a sundress. It has these ties that tie right here with a little bow. Oh my gosh, I'm a sucker for bows. I just love bows. And it has the princess seams um, right down the front. It has a nice pockets. And last week I made it, I've already worn it like two times. It's super comfy and super pretty. I get a lot of compliments on last week's dress and I thought I'm gonna make view A. So this one's shorter and the main reason is because I didn't have enough of this blue fabric to make the longer version because man, it takes a lot of fabric to make that longer version. And um, so I will be making that again because I love it. I just love it. It's really comfy and really pretty, but I went with the shorter version. And actually I have a few things that I wanted to say about this dress, this one right here. So let's see. I want to tell you what a good sewer I am so good at, at making this dress, so good. Can you hear my sarcasm dripping? I thought, oh, I'll make this again. It's, it's so ready to go, it's so easy. I've already made it once. I know everything, how to make it, so I'll make it again. So I laid it out, cut it out, and I'm just la 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 making my dress. Not really thinking about a whole lot, and I looked at it, I'm like, ah! I sewed up the side seams before I put in my wonderful pockets. So I tried it on and it looks good without pockets, honestly, but I love the pockets. They're like my favorite thing. And um, I'm going to diverge right now and tell you another story inside this story. Is that gonna confuse you? I love pockets. And um, my family has a wedding photography business. We do all kinds of photography, but a lot of weddings. And it's been kind of slow over the past year because they canceled weddings last year. I don't know if you know that. Sure you do. So kind of making up for lost time, there's a lot of weddings going on. And I don't actually go to weddings with my husband. I used to. I used to go to almost every one and I just don't anymore. It's hard. It's hard work. And um, so I went to a wedding last weekend with my son to help him, just to help him. You know, I don't, I don't need to take any pictures. They don't need any help with that part. I was just there to be supportive and have fun and, um, you know, carry his stuff and remind him of things, whatever. And I wore one of my makes. It's one of my fit and flare dresses. I'm gonna show you a picture and it has pockets. And may I say, I don't think I've ever been an assistant at a wedding with pockets. It's a game changer. I got my lens cap in one pocket, the car keys in another, my cell phone. He hands me something in those pockets. Those pockets, pockets were everything. And so back to my story on this dress, I didn't wanna give up the pockets just because I sewed up the side seams. And when I say sewed up the side seams, I searched them. They weren't just sewn a seam. A little bit more complicated when it surged, wouldn't you agree? So I thought I'm just gonna open up the seam just enough to get that pocket in on both sides. So I laid it out, took my seam ripper, and I seam ripped all the little, all the little threads of that serger. And then I surged my pocket and I stuck it in I got it just right, I sewed both sides, and then I turned it in and I, I did a little extra little seam there to make it look just right. It was perfect, totally perfect. So I held it up. Guess what? <laughs> guess what? <laughs> You're not gonna guess. You're not gonna guess that I put that pocket in the center back seam. Yes, I did. Where's my pocket? Where's my pocket? <laughs> okay, I'm laughing now. It wasn't funny. It's funny now, it's hilarious now. It looked like a growth coming out of my back when I tried it on, I'm like, where's the pocket? Oh my gosh, I put it in the back center seat. Oh, I just took a breath and I thought, you know, I'm not in a hurry, this is just for me, I'm just gonna fix this. So I took the pocket out, seam ripped the whole thing, and, um, you know, put the seam back, surged the seam back again, got it going, and then I carefully, laid out my dress and found the correct place to put my two pockets, opened up the seam, put my pockets in, and I have pockets. Right there. I'm actually pretty good at pockets now. I'm pretty good, pretty good at messing them up and pretty good at fixing them. So that's how 
good of a sewer I am. <laughs> I just don't know if other people have these problems. Like, I feel like I should be better than that. Mm. I'm still just struggling with my twin needle. I did my twin needle on my hem, but let me just say, it just messes up. It just like, it's just like, eh, it wants to snarl. It doesn't want to feed correctly. What is going on? What, is it my machine? Is it the way I'm threading it? I just, I just want this to be easy. I love the twin needle so much. I've got to figure this out. I did put the, um, the interfacing thread tape, hem tape, whatever you want to call it. That is huge, huge help. But it wasn't easy. It still kept messing up on me. So I still have some research to do and figure that out. Uh, maybe I'll try it on the brother next time and just see if it's the machine. I don't know. If, if you know, somebody tell me. <laughs> the twin needle is my thing. I love it so much. I don't know what's next up project wise. I think I want to make another one of these long because I did get some new fabric and I may as well just tell you I have a fabric haul coming and I'm a little bit um, torn about what to share <laughs> because I bought a lot of fabric and it's almost like embarrassing. Do you ever do that? Like it, this is embarrassing to admit that I bought this much fabric. It's just, I don't know, should I share that? You're gonna look at me and say, what the heck are you thinking? But you know what? I have a lot of fabric. I'm looking up at my fabric. If you haven't seen how I store my fabric, it's up here in bins and I have a video on that, which is really cool. I think anyways, love it. And yet I feel like I bought too many wovens last haul that I don't have a pattern I love for wovens. I have too many patterns that I love for knits. So this time I was super cognizant of that and made, made myself stick to stretchy fabrics. I did still buy a few wovens, but mostly it's all stretchy. And uh, so I'll have more choices because I sewed up a lot of that stretchy stuff. I mean, I made a lot of stuff since that last haul. I, you hear me excusing myself? So um, should I show the real truth, the mountain of fabric I bought at the local fabric store down in Sacramento, or should I pick my favorites and say, this is what I bought? Yes, I wasn't, I wasn't indulgent at all. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say, show it all. I know, I know, and I'm going to, but don't judge me. Okay, so that is my sewing shares that I have, and I really wanna share how hot it's been. Like we've had a heat wave, uh, unusually hot, but this time of year, it just can go either way. Like it can go cold and rainy or super hot or something in between. And it's been super hot. We've, we've had like down in the valley. So I'm up in the mountains, but down in the valley, they've hit triple digits, I think a couple times already, which it, it's not abnormal for them as well. But we got in the, the mid nineties here, which is super hot. Like my whole house has been hot and I've been hot. And that's why I'm loving this dress because it's just super comfortable. I think I could have five of these. I think I could because it's nice on a hot day and it's got bows. I think I want to raise up my V just a little bit. I think I'm going to try that on my next one. It's just because it's it, it kind of just moves because it, you tie this, right? So it can the bow can get a little looser or tighter and it moves a little. So I think I'm just going to bring it up like an inch and a half right there. And I think I'll like it better. I have to figure out how to do that, but I think that I'll just alter my pattern and see what happens. I did that on the Fit and Flare, and I love that neckline so much better, so much better. Okay, so moving on to personal, uh, which I already did. I said it's really hot here, and um, I wanted to share something that I found on Etsy that I just want to share with you. So I love wearing dresses in the summer, and unless they're super long, when you sit down, your legs hit the seat of your car and I have leather seats. And man, my skin hits that seat and it just burns. It's hot and I've tried a towel and I thought I'm gonna get some car seat covers. That has to be something that I would like, not some boring car seat cover that you get at the auto store, like something cute. And I found the coolest thing. It is this lady invented a car seat cover that is just perfect for me. It's called the seat spinner. I'm gonna put a link to it. I looked at that and I thought, oh, that looks easy to make. I could make that. And then I thought, no, she invented it. I'm going to pay the money to buy her invention because I want to support people who invent stuff. I want to invent stuff. I think it's cool to come up with things nobody's thought of. She did that. I bought her car seat cover. I'm here to tell you I could not have made that. She has it figured out. It has this special fabric that's just really soft on one side and has this grippy stuff on the other side. Where do you even see that? Like, where do you even find that? And it's just nicely made. It has her logo. 
this thing is cool. And so if you go watch her little Etsy video, you'll see that it flips, slips over your car, your um, headrest. And then it's like a bib, like a big apron for your car. And you just tuck it in and it's just laying there. And so if hubby gets in and he doesn't want the car seat cover, he can spin it. Seat spinner, get it? She thought of that. Spin it around and it just hangs over the back. And then he doesn't have to deal with the car seat cover in his way. And it's so easy that if he's driving, I could take it off that seat and put it on the passenger. And then it can move. But you know what? I'm not doing that. I love it so much. I'm going to get another one and have a pair. It's super cute. Okay. I get nothing for this. I just wanted to share. I, I like to promote things. I do get stuff bounce backs or whatever, but I don't get a bounce back on that. I just think it's super cool. So that's something I wanted to share. Okay. Uh, I love Instagram. Do you guys love Instagram? I do Instagram, Facebook, and I love TikTok. TikTok's funny. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's boring, but uh, I love TikTok. Uh, but Instagram is where I have most of my sewing people that I follow because it's pictures, right? And so I have people that I follow that sew and a lot of other channels that you probably watch as well. And um, if you don't, there's some really just amazing sewers out there with channels I just love so much. And so I follow them on Instagram. And all I want to say is, how do they get so much done? Because I feel like my time is my own. Why don't I make more stuff? There's a couple people that I just am so impressed with. And um, one is Kristen, the Dahlia Society. She is a factory of clothes. How does she do it? How does she do it? How does she do it? Oh my gosh, this is such beautiful clothes. Um, maybe because she's not actually sewing the pocket in the back of her dress. <laughs> <laughs> wasting time with all of that stuff but at the same time like is she making like five things a week like I'm making one maybe maybe one I don't know so I'm wondering what's like how can I get more stuff done I don't I'd like to know um how people get so much done are they just organized I don't know am I just like I think it's hard for me to pin down my focus and stay focused on things and you know it's like my attention just gets pulled away in different directions and I'm just like, ooh, pretty thing there, ooh, pretty thing there. And it's hard for me to just sit down and say, get this stuff done. But I think I need to write her a comment and say, how do you get so much done? I need to know your secret. Does she have a secret? But she's not the only one. There's so many people that are putting out a lot of garments and I would like to know how. Me, I'm just plodding away on the same pattern over and over. <laughs> That's not very interesting, is it? What I would like to say is, I am giving myself grace. That's what I'm saying. I'm not actually doing it, but I'm saying I'm going to start saying that to myself because, um, you know, we're all different and you can't really say what's going on in somebody else's life and what things look like are not always what they appear. And so, you know, just giving myself grace and saying, you know, am I unhappy with the amount of garments I'm making? No, I love these garments I'm making and I'm happy with that. And you know, I'd love to put more videos out and I, I have ideas and I've even started filming this and that little bits and pieces here and there, but I've committed to the Friday and I've committed to the Tuesday and the rest will happen when they happen. And I'm just giving myself grace. And I would just like to say that maybe we should all have that mantra, you know, give myself grace, just not be so like, um, not setting expectations, you know, and, and it's, it's, life is precious and should be enjoyed. And if I have the time to just sit and look at flowers and listen to uh, all the birds that are, I've been waiting all winter for this, this moment where I can sit and look at flowers and listen to birds. So I'm going to do that and not worry about what I'm getting done because, you know, I feel like I got to get stuff, got to get stuff done. Why? Like, I don't even have a job. <laughs> I should just, I should just be happy. La, 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 all day long. Not feel like, so giving myself grace. That's what I'm, my new mantra. So I hope that you are letting yourself be happy and having a wonderful weekend. And I hope you take time to look at the flowers and listen to the birds. Take it from me. You will not regret that. Have an awesome, awesome weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye now.